Good afternoon from Washington, D.C. I'm Dina Siegel Van, Director of AJC's Belfair Institute for Latino and Latin American Affairs. Through our institute, AJC actively engages the Western Hemisphere, a region which remains on the front lines, confronting a global context in which democratic principles are increasingly under assault and the threat of terrorism is real. Despite dire challenges, its governments and societies, except for a few, continue to be anchored in a culture of democracy and human rights. Minorities, including thriving Jewish communities throughout the Americas, have benefited from a climate of respect for diversity. But the rise in antisemitism in the United States and elsewhere has made the need to face this scourge, as well as a continued global terrorist threat, a regional priority. The Organization of American States, the oldest and most prominent multilateral organization in the Western Hemisphere, plays an outsized role in promoting collaboration among its 35 member states in the areas of democracy, human rights, security, and development. AJC was granted NGO status by the OAS in 2005 and has remained a steadfast supporter of its critical mandate. Today's issues facing the OAS are daunting, from the pandemic to refugee crisis, from populism and authoritarianism to Iranian, Chinese, and Russian forays into the region. No one has been better suited than the organization's visionary and courageous Secretary General to speak up loudly and clearly and rally the conscience of the Americas behind the core principles of the OAS. A lawyer, diplomat and politician, AJC first had the privilege of meeting Secretary General Luis Almagro when he served as Foreign Minister of Uruguay. Then as now, we found him to be profoundly thoughtful, fair-minded, principled and passionate, an unwavering and fierce advocate of our shared causes, whether defending democracy, pursuing justice for the AMIA case, standing up against terrorist entities such as Hezbollah or Hamas, or strengthening the hemisphere's partnership with Israel to help address regional challenges. And we take special note of his steadfast and outspoken solidarity with Israel during the latest chapter of Hamas violence. AJC deeply values Luis Almagro's inspired leadership of the OAS and is proud to call him an ally and a friend. This is why in 2019, we presented him with AJC's Champion of Democracy Award on this global stage. Upon receiving it, he made history by both adopting the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance working definition of antisemitism and recognizing Hezbollah as a terrorist organization. And that is why we're inviting him to address us once again on this global stage. Luis, muchas gracias for everything you do and for joining us today. The floor is yours. Gracias, Dina. Gracias, David. Thank you so much for your warm introduction. I feel truly privileged to have been invited by the American Jewish Committee to address a global audience committed to the preservation of the values of democracy and human rights. As we know, doing so entails combating all forms of racism and xenophobia, like antisemitism and the terrorist attacks of such groups that promote antisemitism. I'm happy to be here, for the AJC has always been an indispensable OAS institutional and personal partner, helping bolster causes that are at the center of the OAS mandate. Thus, I have adopted the IRA working definition and designated Hezbollah, a terrorist organization, back in 2019. And I have been working hard to ensure that the countries of the Americas follow suit. Unfortunately, antisemitism continues to raise its ugly persistence in the hemisphere. And due to the current episode of violence in Israel and attacks, the Jewish, committee, Jewish state permanently suffer at the hands of terrorist Hamas. We are witnessing antisemitic campaigns in many places, trying to delegitimize Israel and calling for its disappearance. That is the reason why, as you might be aware, we have continuously declared our solidarity with the State of Israel 
in its rights, and also why we have unambiguously and unequivocally declared Hamas a terrorist organization, urging others in the Americas to do so as well. As my good friend David Harris has said, this is a moment for moral clarity and no moral foe. I want to say it loud and clear, calling for the disappearance of the State of Israel is itself an act of terrorism. And it also is plain and simple anti-Semitism. Our hemisphere, impacted by the pandemic and experiencing a weakening of the democratic fabric in several societies, is facing an uptick in anti-Semitism, which threatens all minorities and endangers the principles of inclusion, respect for diversity, and social peace promoted by the inter-American system. Around the world, the growth in anti-Jewish attitudes and behavior has led different nations, including the U.S. and Canada, to establish commissioners to monitor and combat anti-Semitism. The European Union, homologous to the OES, has a coordinator on combating anti-Semitism and fostering Jewish life. We are convinced that our hemisphere needs to be adequately prepared to face the global threat of anti-Semitism in the same way that many other nations and democratic international bodies are doing so. Anti-Semitism has had dramatic and violent dimensions. We ought not to forget several tragic instances, the terrorist attack against AMIA in 1994, the use of anti-Semitism as an ideological political tool in the hemispheric dictatorship, the terrorist attack against the embassy of Israel in Argentina, and the vile attack against the Chilean Jewish community, all clear examples of threats, not only against Jewish communities, but against the societies to which they belong. For all these reasons, I am pleased to announce today from this AJC stage that I have issued an executive order to establish the position of Commissioner of the OES for monitoring and combating anti-Semitism. I can tell you that among his her main responsibilities will be first to actively promote adoption and implementation by all countries in the region of the IRA definition of anti-Semitism, and second, to vigorously engage member states and civil society organizations in the hemisphere to raise awareness of the need to remain alert to all forms of anti-Semitism, those that manifest themselves through terrorist acts, as well as those that do so more in subtle ways. Towards that end, AJC and the OES are already working on the publication of a Latin American version of the handbook for the practical use of the IRA working definition of anti-Semitism also by the European Commission. We have been discussing different forms of cooperation with our homologous European Union on these issues, a synergy that will strengthen our shared values and principles. In addition, following the United Nations, the European Union, and several other international organizations, the OES has also applied for membership as an institutional partner of the IRA. It is our hope that all these critical steps will help and secure not only the well-being of Jews and other minorities in the region, while consolidating democratic values and practices. This will send the clearest of messages that Latin America has no tolerance today and in the future for the destructive forces of anti-Semitism and terrorism. Thank you very much. Those of you who know me know that I'm rarely speechless. Uh, but I'm quite speechless at the moment. I think what we've just heard from our dear friend Luisa Magro is nothing short of historic. Indeed, I would say, as we said in 2019 from the stage in Washington, that you have just heard history being made from the American Jewish Committee Global Forum. Luis referred to the notion of moral clarity uh, as opposed to moral fog. I want to speak for a moment about moral clarity as a manifestation of moral courage. Luis Almagro, the former foreign minister of Uruguay, a very friendly country, and currently the secretary general of the OAS, the 35-nation hemispheric body, has just said to us and said to the world for the first time that the 
that by executive order, the OAS will establish a commissioner whose job it will be to monitor and combat anti-Semitism, both from the perspective of the OAS and to encourage individual member nations to follow suit. We have also heard a clarion call in defense of the State of Israel, its right to exist and to defend itself, uh, very clear words with respect to Hamas and Hezbollah, with respect to the importance of Holocaust memory and the protection of Holocaust memory. Uh, frankly, I can't remember another speech that was as brief, Luis, and contained as many milestones uh, as yours now. So on behalf of a grateful American Jewish Committee, and with a big shout out to you, Dina Siegel Van, and your longtime friendship with Luis, and the cooperation between the Belfer Institute and OAS, I, I could not be happier. Luis, we are grateful to you, and let the world know that moral courage and moral clarity have a home in the office of the Secretary General of the Organization of American States, who has just made history. Muchas gracias. Toda Thank you, Luis.